Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Lexivon inch pound torque wrench that has a one quarter inch drive. It's rated for 20 to 200 inch pounds. Also, it's rated for 2.26 through 20 through 26.6 uh, Newton meters. Um, this wrench was uh, released to the market December the 28th. 2018 and uh, it's still in rotation to this day because I just checked on it to get the information so um, before we do guys I'm speaking to first let me thank the guys uh, uh, my viewers who uh, joined the channel and still hanging in there with me as, uh, as, as subscribers I really appreciate it I won't let you down I will continue putting out nice videos and, and showing you one of a kind tools uh, quality tools at that uh, those of you, if this is your first time viewing the channel, I'm asking for you for your support. I'm asking that you hit the subscribe button to help the channel to grow. Uh, all that would be appreciated and it's for free. I am an electrician by trade, a licensed electrician by trade. I'm also uh, a tool lover. I'm also a do-it-yourselfer, tradesman, whatever you want to call it. But I do love tools and I don't mind showing my tools off to you guys. Most of the tools I show on this channel we're going to be one of a kind. Uh, some of you may have seen them. I may have not seen them and didn't even know they existed. But that's what I based my channel upon. You're always going to get something other than the norm that, you normally, uh, that you're not used to seeing. So as an electrician, I'm extending my hand out to you guys. And a tradesman, I'm extending my hand out. Two lovers, I'm extending my hand out to you guys. And I'm asking for your support. I'm trying to get my channel up to, to, to 10,000 viewers. And uh, you can do that by hit subscribing, hitting the like button, posting a comment. I will answer you back. All that is for free and helping the channel to grow. So I want to thank you in advance if you do so. You can do that right now by watching the channel. Hit that subscribe button right now underneath the screen as, as the video plays. So um, moving on. That's, um, this this, this, this uh, torque wrench, for, you, know, you, use a, uh, you may say, well, why do I want a torque, a torque uh, wrench? A torque wrench is needed so you won't over tighten something. Uh, right now, we it's it's it's, uh, it's it's needed in the electrical field. Those of you who know that is a code uh, that you must need a torque wrench to tighten up your screws, your terminals, even the 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 the, uh, the terminal lugs at the top where the incoming power comes in at. You need a torque wrench for that. Okay, so and um, it's in a code and it's in the it's in the NEC. Uh, so you need that instead of tightening some people think that if I put all I have you know I tighten it up as much as I can then put a cheetah bra on it and I'm gonna tighten it up no that can cause problems you can make that wire overheat you can break the lugs anything so there's a rated amount of torque that you much that you must put on it um, and to keep things you know working properly but speaking to this this particular about this torque wrench it wasn't expensive. I have had it now for a number of years now. I got it off of, uh, I think, Amazon. They had a promotion going on with this torque wrench, and I was in the need of uh, looking for one. So, and the price was right. I think they're like for about thirty, forty dollars. And uh, so, it comes with a certificate of calibration, and uh, could that's needed. You just can't put out a torque wrench and saying you got a certificate of calibration or you don't have one. Because uh, the inspector that you're dealing with, if he want to be, you know, a butthole, he can ask you for that certificate of calibration. And if it's not up to date or if you don't even have one, he can make you take all that loose until you go get yourself one, uh, a tool that's been calibrated as you tighten it up. Depends on who he may be and, what, you know, how good a relationship you have with that inspector. So that's something that you want to get. Make sure the tool that you, that you purchase that needs to be calibrated. If you, if it's required that you have that tool calibrated, you get a, you, you know, you keep up with that calibration uh, certificate, and you always have that tool calibrated. Anyway, um, this 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 tool here works good. It's no problem. It's a manual one uh, that I use. They have some on the market now. Like I think Milwaukee has one out. I'm sure it costs a whole lot of money. It's digitized. It just about it, it'll tighten it up for you until it can't tighten it no more, and then you put the little manual extra pound on it, you know, a little, and it clicks, and that's it. This one, you got to keep doing it yourself. That's okay. You know, you get it done. As long as you set the perimeter, uh, the perimeter right up here at the torque, whatever it needs, you'll be all right with that. 
So uh, I think I paid about, I think it was between $32 and $40 for this thing. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was, because it works fine. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. And it's not something that you use every day. When you get through using it, uh, you want to take care of it. You want to put it back in a case that it comes in. This is a plastic uh, blow, molded, blow, molded, blow molded case that it comes in. And you want to put it in there. Um, and keep it keep it nice and you know protected. So um, I think it was a I think it was a good find for me. Everybody makes them now, but that don't mean it's you know it's quality made. And you, and you can't trust that certificate. Harbor Freight even put some out, but I wouldn't purchase it from Harbor Freight. I don't know why I just wouldn't. And uh, you know, but I think I think I've even seen them uh, torque wrenches in Walmart. Um, you know, but I you I mean don't get me wrong, you can purchase it. If you don't need to have that certificate of calibration, if you're just using it for your personal use, well, go with the cheapest one. I use mine for electrical installation, so uh, I have to have the certificate of calibration just in case uh, the inspector, wherever I'm working at, what city or uh, town I may be working in, uh, wants to see it, you know, and I want to have it. Now, um, but this is, it is a good torque wrench. Um, like I said, this turns no problem. Whatever you have to turn it on, it you know, it gets there. It's a nice torque wrench, heavy. Uh, it's it's it's, it's seems like it's made out of quality material. I have no trouble with it. I haven't had any trouble with it. It always meets uh, whatever I put it up against to, you know, to to get the job done. It's no problem, no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna leave the um, as I always do. I'm gonna leave the model number if you guys were interested in it. Um, and keep in mind, again, I am not promoted by none of these companies who tools that I show. I'm doing because I love the trade. I am a tool lover, and I use all of these tools that I, that I show you guys. So if they were bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. If they're good, I'm going to tell you it was good. This one is a good tool. It's a good tool. It haven't given me any trouble, and I don't think it will give me any trouble because I take care of all my tools. You know, I don't just throw them in the truck when I'm done with them. I put them where they belong, and I'll stack them right. Now, uh, so it's not much more I can really say about it. You know, you guys, are, are, you, you can leave a comment, but don't forget to support the channel. If you've got any questions, concern, this, uh, this, this tool, uh, uh, leave a comment. I will answer you back, okay? So uh, until the next time, you guys stay tuned, stay safe, and I am out.